Hello viewers, today I come to you with a new video about um, my, new, my newer watch that I bought recently. So as you might know, I for a while have had this Apple Watch first generation. Um, the reason there's tape over it is because I was using it to get, I was tidying it over until I'd have to get rid of it, or until I could, you know, take it out of service. Um, because the battery in here has expanded and the display has popped up again, and I'm not going to super glue it again. I'm just going to take it out of service. So, um, I ended up buying this in August, and it has done its job pretty well. I mean, um, it's nice to have something a little, this also had some like things where it was a little bit slow. This is nice and isn't as slow as that one. Um, hold on, let me enter my password. Um, and I mean, I can put more stuff on it. Um, because it's newer and it has some new of the newer features. This is an Apple Watch Series 3, um, which was the cheapest at the time that I bought it. And yes, I know it went discontinued, it went not supported after that, but honestly, I didn't really care about that. I just wanted something that would work mainly. Uh, I don't have to have all the new features. You know, there's some features that I'd like, I don't have to have all of them. Um, so. I just went with this because I had the money for it. Um, uh, um, I'm trying to think, but the only problem with it is um, it only has 2.4 gigahertz networking. And this also has 2.4 gigahertz networking, but that last year wasn't a problem. But now this year, uh, the building that um, I work in, uh, which I was go to school in or whatever, does not have, my school building does not have any, they turned off their 2.4 gigahertz network support. So I basically can't use this with the network. Um, which also has caused other problems, but I won't go into those here. Um, but um, other than that, yeah, I've been working fine. Um, it's nice to be able to like ping my AirTag um, with my wallet from here without having to go onto my phone. Um, also, this can store some music, so I can use it as a music player at night. Um, and that sort of thing. Um, and I just reused all the old stuff that I had from this one, so I reused the old um, charger, as well as I also took the bands off that one and put it on one of this one, because I know how this one fits on my arm. This, this is the band that came with this one. Uh, this guy. And, um, I don't know how these this fits on my arm necessarily, uh, and I didn't want to have to change that up. So um, it took me a while to figure out how this one fits and what the best fit is. So yeah, and as you can see, because this is a uh, I'm gonna cover up the serial number so that that stuff is not available for view. Oh wait, it's not on here. Okay, good. Um, as you can see, it does kind of go off the edges because this is a 38 millimeter and the bands are for 42 millimeter. But, I mean, they still just slot in and work just fine. So, I mean, honestly, I don't care. Um, I mean, this does its job. It, um, and it's nice to have a watch that actually has an okay battery life. This one also had things where, like, probably by the end of the school day, I had to charge it, um, or something. It was almost dead by the end of the school day, and I, that's from, like, 
6 to probably about the time I got home was about 3.30. So, because I wake up at 6 and then I got home at 3.30. And so, usually I would get this on when I wake up. Um, and it wouldn't always last the whole day. So, um, this one, though, does usually last me the whole day. Unless I forget to charge it at night or something, or my power brick comes unplugged. Because that one does like to do it. But then I also have now have a spare charger that I can take with me. And charge with. Um, yeah, I mean, this works okay. Um, this has kind of been in just sitting. I haven't done the other, the graveyard situation that I have, like, my old phone in where it's just sitting on my desk plugged in, just sitting there. Because it still has some music on it, and if I wanted to use it as an MP3 player, I could. It's just, um, I feel like if I boot it down, it will take a while to get it booted back up, because that's... It's done it before. Um, but, yeah, um, uh, it also works pretty good with my AirPods. Uh, I do know, notice though, that if I leave my phone at home or something, because sometimes I just don't want to take my phone with me wherever I go all the time. I can't take my phone with me all the time. Um, it will freak out. Um, so there's that. Um, though I'm guessing that's a normal feature. And it also uh, Oh, this also um, this is something that I actually do like about it that I should have mentioned. So, um, I use focus modes on iOS because, um, I feel that I like the fact that I can set it to automation. Like, so, like, when I get to my school building, I can set my stuff to automatically silence, even though, or not silence, um, go into focus mode um but sometimes that's been a bit flaky recently probably because the building is pretty big um, um like the entire property spans two blocks so there's that but um but other than that, I have, so I have automations also set up so that this will silence when I go into school mode and then unsilence when I leave school because that way uh, it's not bugging me at school and making very loud noises. Hmm. So yeah. Oh, something I also like. This one didn't allow, if I wanted to change my exercise goals, this one didn't allow me to. This one will. Um, I don't know why that, that was. I don't understand it, but honestly, um, it works. Um, and it does its job pretty well. Um... Sometimes notification routing is also a bit weird because sometimes it'll come up on my phone, sometimes it'll come up on this, and it's all a bit strange. But other than that, yeah. I don't think I have really much else to say at this at the moment. Um, so if you like the video, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I hope I'll be doing more videos like this, um, in the future, I don't know, 
honestly, because I have to have time to sit down and do all this stuff, and then I also have time to, if, depending on what it is, I might have to edit the video. And sometimes that, I like to procrastinate with that, or I just forget about it. Um, so, but hopefully I will get this uploaded, and we can go from there. Um, but if you've noticed, I think my camera quality is a bit better because I found the, you know, set my phone down. I found the setting on my phone to, um, adjust the video quality preferences. So now I can shoot, I, I didn't know where those were. Um, oh, that's trying to do a heart rate scan. Um, I didn't know where those were, so I, um, but when I found them, I don't want to go full 4K or whatever, because that probably will take a while to upload, and honestly, I don't want to have that much. Even though this phone has 256 gigs of storage, I still don't want to, like, rush to fill that up because, you know, I want to have space free, so, yeah. Um, I'll be talking about some of that stuff in the next video, maybe. Um, but yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and have a good day.